What is up YouTube and welcome to this Better Call Saul mid-season finale breakdown and review. We open with Lalo up to some really dodgy stuff in yet another mysterious and protracted opening scene which will of course have its purpose later as he's returned to New Mexico to get his revenge. But Saul is desperate here as after last week we discovered that the judge Casimiro had actually broken his arm. And, well, he needs to get the actor to redo his stuff here. As, yes, I said, the real guy broke his arm. Absolutely put a spanner in the works there. Now, what I really love is that he's kept the same camera guy since season one, which is hilarious. Now, my one problem with this episode is that everything was so protracted. Not a lot kind of happened in this, this episode, really. But of course, it was major, major implications for the for really the latter half of the season and where we see the show going. Now, Jimmy urges Kim to go back to the meeting, but she says this is where she needs to be as they develop the photos needed to create this fake bribe. Now, Howard would later say that he's surprised that one of the smartest, and most intelligent, and people with the most potential has chosen to live this life with Jimmy, but hey, things I do for love. Now, Howard is preparing his meeting room, making it meticulous, and even make sure the dropped cans really don't explode at all, even though it'd be fine, as it's quite a while to the meeting. Uh, well, we have here him discussing Sol's brother, um, or Jimmy's brother, and as intended, we get the images to Howard as we found out later this was a doppelganger now either I'm incredibly thick I didn't really understand what the purpose of this photo shoot was and I didn't understand that or didn't realize that this was actually a fake um private investigator which is really hilarious for me as yeah I got played like a damn fiddle just how Howard got played like a damn fiddle now Jimmy and Kim can't resist <laughs> listening into the chaos and I love how, on the spot, the actor got the retired judge. The actor really did nail down that judge's persona, which is really funny. As Howard spins out and accuses the mediator of corruption and says about being in the park and hears his testimony and tries to present the fake for the, the photos, which are fake, we know. And oh boy, this season has been a slow burn. Now, many of you in the comments week after week have said that the show is too slow, not a lot's happening, but you've got to agree that this was one hell of a payoff as the photos swap over and it's the boom operator there from the cameraman who is there and the payoff of the diluted pupil thing that they get there, which they put on the photos, just absolutely just too good there. And, well... Howard makes a scene of himself and is made to look like a prize fool and he's refusing to settle and Sandpiper are going to be like well no we are going to drop our suit drop our offer by a million every so often until you finally get it together he's been made to look like a drug addict and it's hilarious that most other shows wouldn't take six seasons to pay off something that happened in the first season like this. It's very, very special here as Jimmy and Kim go off and celebrate. Now we cut to Lalo making a video for the Don and we learn what the engineer told him as he sung everything. I thought we'd stay in Germany for a bit, but he stakes out the lab, which is a, has a front of laundry and Lalo goes scorched earth to prove that this meth lab does exist and will later kill the guards, he says. He speaks to his uncle, who is not on about this, and he also hears the tapping and the, the scratching, which sounds like the, the, the line is tapped, as we know. The mic gets the, the message there, as his uncle angrily dings, and Lalo says he's going back to plan A. It's his only chance, as Gus is taken out of his photo op by Mike, as, well, they know he's alive. But it all comes to a head here as Howard goes to see Jimmy to ask why he did what he did. And he says, oh, you know, Howard, he gets what he wants. I'm, you're doing this because I've put you in the 
document review, I did this, blah, blah, blah. But he, what Jimmy doesn't see is what Howard is underneath his carefully, carefully, meticulously planned persona, which is depression, a broken marriage, and more. So he doesn't understand, well, at least Jimmy now knows that, well, there's more than meets the eye. Many of us, or myself, was like, yeah, go on, get him, Jimmy. But as we saw more of Howard, I thought, yeah, I kind of feel bad for this dude that that this is going on. Howard wanted to know why Jimmy did this incredible work. This this is like a law case that he was putting together, really, to try and get one over on Howard. Howard will be fine, but it's just one more thing he has to get over when there's only so much bandwidth you have in your life to get over horrible events. He'll be fine, but his image is tarnished, which is what he cares about the most. However, Lalo turns up. And I loved how Jimmy says how, he says, how, as in how are you alive, and Howard, as Howard is killed, and Jimmy is to blame here. His machinations led him here. And there was no doubt in my mind that Lalo would turn up, uh, not turn up, at Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy's abode here. So, a real, real powerful finale, final moment, a punch to the gut, and it's why we haven't seen him in Breaking Bad, which very much worries me because, Kim, we did not see in Breaking Bad. So, yeah, maybe she goes into witness protection, turns on uh, Lalo, and Jimmy has to choose there but overall it was a good episode we have a whole another half of the season to go so we have the war between Lalo and Gus it's not as simple as uh, the final episode makes out that he's going to prove this to the Don etc but I'm very excited to see where this goes next I will be back bringing you this these videos when they come out but I'm going to have a bit of a break after covering Halo this and Killing Eve and Euphoria in the last few months so I'm going to Upload theory videos for a week or two and that's it on the MCU. I'll see you soon and goodbye.